Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to do a quick review on this Coffee Break Toastmaster Model 510. This is a really old single serve coffee maker, but it's got this cute little um, coffee mug that goes with it. And it's got this swing out. This is where you brew the coffee or tea, but it's got this permanent filter. That's where we're going to put the coffee. And that's where it goes, and then we just swing that back. And then the water goes right back here. This lifts up. That's where the water goes. It's got a water reservoir back here. That's where the water goes. And the key feature is it does have a little indicator light that comes on. And it's auto off. So once you press this button, it starts the brew. And it turns itself off after it's done. And there's no heating element here or nothing. So I put one heaping tablespoon of coffee grounds in here. Like I said, this is the removable filter. I don't think you're going to be able to buy paper filters for it. You're going to have to use this filter that comes with it. So we're going to put that in there. We're going to close it. So I would use the mug that it came with to fill it up with water. That way you don't overfill it. I have overfilled this before. So you're just going to dump the water in. Okay, close that. Make sure the mug's in there all the way. And then we're just going to press this button. Hey, you got to plug it in first. It's got kind of a short cord. So now we're going to press this button. It just kind of spring loads back out. But that indicator light should be on. Yeah, it's on. So it's really dim, but it's on. And like I said, this button, you press it in, but it kind of pops back out. So it doesn't like stay in that position. So I'm going to time this. So it's it's making a little percolator sound. It's it's doing a pretty good job of brewing. It does get a little warm. And there's some steam coming out the holes. And so we're right about the four minute mark. And the light turned off. I heard something like a relay click, so it's gonna it's pretty much turned the coffee pot off. It might still be dripping a little bit. Yep. Okay, so after about five minutes it's done. I did make a little mess by not waiting long enough. Okay, so let's check the temperature. Not bad. For this little coffee makers, I normally see around 165, 168. Not bad. Let's see how it tastes. Boy, I gotta say that's that's not too bad of a cup of coffee. I was not expecting it to be that good. Let's see how the filter of the coffee grounds did. Okay, so they stayed in the filter. That's good. Looks like they did a pretty good job getting saturated. This is this is a pretty nice little coffee maker. Doesn't take up much space. So let's go over cleanup. You slide this open again. So this this comes up. You you lift up on the bottom, and then it comes out. Then you can take this whole uh, filter tray. But you're gonna take this over to the trash can. Take out the um, coffee grounds and then just clean this up with some soap and water and that looks like I can just wipe down my mess that I made there but this is a pretty neat coffee maker so when you put it back together uh, put the top in first and lift up and then the bottom hinge will go in and then it closes so all in all, I was very impressed with this little coffee maker. I know it's kind of an older one, but it actually did a really good job. I hope you liked this video. If you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.